What's up everybody, Anthony with Granddaddy Herps, back again with another video, yeah! Alright, today's video is going to kind of be a short one, uh, I've got a really interesting story to tell you, I got a clutch this morning from a bumblebee female, and I'm going to sit down and I'm going to show you the clutch, and I'm going to tell you a little story about this female that I think is kind of interesting. So, without further ado, let's get into this video. Okay guys, so here's the bumblebee female the mom that just laid the clutch. So I'm not gonna keep her out. I don't wanna agitate her anymore. You know, she just laid clutch of eggs, so I wanna let her rest. And uh, I've got an interesting story to tell you about her, so we'll get right into it in just a second. Okay guys, bust out my uh, black pastel, yellow belly, special Mojave. He's an absolute stud. Gorgeous looking wall python. Okay, so the reason for this video, so I noticed a few months back that uh, that bumblebee female was just always at the front of her tub and trying to get out. And usually that's, a, that's an indicator that the snake is really stressed out. So it could be that you know, you've got to add an extra hide or two or if you don't have a hide that you need to add an extra hide because it's telling you that something's wrong. You read that body language, right? And um, She's never done that before and I couldn't figure out why she was doing that. And so I put a hide in there, uh, cause generally on this side of the rack, it's really, really dark. So they don't need hides. They do find just, just perfectly fine without them. And so I added a hide and that didn't change anything. So I'm like, man, what is wrong? And I checked the temps, the temps were right. And I'm like, hmm, I have a feeling that maybe she's looking for a male. Maybe she's in heat and she can sense the the other females kind of fuming out their scent for the males and because there was a lot of breeding going on all around her and this was a female that I bred late in the season last year and had a late clutch last year or not so late uh, I guess it was mid-year she dropped her clutch of eggs so she definitely was ready she, she definitely could have been paired again but um, she's just a regular bumblebee female I didn't have huge plans for her so I didn't really lock anything to her um, and at this point in time, everything has already been bred and uh, the males are pretty much all off of food and they're all starting to lose a lot of weight. So I didn't have any males that I wanted to breed to her. The only one I felt confident in was my super vanilla mystic. You know, he had already gone back on food. He was gaining some size. And so again, this female was just at her tub every day, just was not leaving it alone. And I didn't want the, the front of her nose or her face or whatnot to start going raw because that happens. And so I was like, what the heck? I bet you anything she just wants a male. So I threw that Super Vanilla Mystic in with her and literally it was almost like right away. She scented, boom, she locked. And they locked for about two days straight. And then I took the male out and that was it. No other breedings, that was it. Next thing you know, she's going into her pre-ovulation shed and uh, then she goes into her prelay shed and that leads us to today we've got a nice perfect clutch six eggs completely fertile uh, nice vein structure in them uh, so I thought the story was kind of funny because essentially she was telling me give me a male I need a male in my life I'm in heat hook it up granddaddy herbs hook it up dude <laughs> so yeah that's pretty much this video uh, I know it's kind of random but Maybe uh, what you could take away from this is that, um, you know, first things first, if they're at the front of your tub, um, it could be a bad sign that the animal is very stressed out. So definitely give it a hide, make sure the temperatures are right. And then in my case, breeding season was going on. She was in a rack with other breeding females and other breeding males. And so she was just telling me that she wanted to lay eggs and have another go for me this season. So uh, yeah, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Let me give you some shots of some animals I haven't shown in a while, and then uh, we're gonna wrap it up, guys. Uh, if there's anything that you wanna see, any suggestions, please let me know down in the comments. Of course, I do all of this for you guys, so whatever you wanna see, I'd be more than happy to help out. As always, Anthony from Granddaddy Herps. Peace.
granddaddy herbs.